So, in light of the family slam and my sister's birthday is tomorrow, she's turning 17, um, I wrote a poem for her, and this is her present to me. To, this is her present for her. There is a tower of glass that lives on a pedestal in the room beside mine. And in the morning, she alights the room in passionate threads of life. And as she wakes, there is a fatigue in her light, a tired duty as she is the medium for beauty. And she does not believe that beauty is hers. Her curved design is unusual to her, but comfortable for loving hands. And as the sun dresses her in golden blue, she is ashamed she is see-through. She is afraid that she is not art. She believes eye sculptures to be more appealing. She shields herself from the public eye, hiding away in her room where she is safe on her pedestal, but she has never liked standing tall. And so her pedestal is shrouded in indigo and the ground pulls her, inviting her nearer. While solid, she is fragile and her fear of heights isn't helping. I am responsible by my own election to keep her standing tall, but never have I seen such an awe-striking tower so ready to fall. Though the people love her and she loves them so, there is always a man to lash her with his words a spell to increase gravity, and this is what I fear. In the night, she teeters on the edge of color and tomorrow, and the moon begs her to fall. No matter how many times I flick on the light to ensure she lives to the next morning, there will always be plenty of chances for, to, for her to remember the man who increased gravity and made the ground so inviting. And as I turn and toss fitfully, the sheets wrap their warm and cordial threads about my mind, and nightmares sneak on the frozen artificial air to paint my outlook indigo, violet, and rose. There is desperate hysteria nestled between my panicked worry and the responsi responsibility I crush down my own throat as the image of shattered glass freezes my blood in its place. I am afraid my pocket-sized tower of Pisa will no longer bend light as skillfully when she lays upon the floor. For the moment her icy glass walks the plank off her pedestal, my heart will lay among her ruins, and my selfish love will remain unrequited. And if and when she falls, my one wish for the gravity men is that when they see her beautiful pieces and they must stand among her piercing remains, they will no longer see her as the pitiful medium of depression. They will see that she is the embodiment of despair itself. But there will never be one filled with more regret than I that the, Im the true image of beauty and awe was demoted to a medium for color. And as soon as they saw blue in her rainbow, they spray painted her black. <laughs>